Are you looking for a swimsuit but not sure which fits your needs? Are you trying to understand the difference between a stinger suit, dive skin, wetsuit, dry suit, and a dive suit? Fortunately, they tend to fall into two categories, which should make this a bit easier to understand. So keep watching because we've got the answers for you. Type 1 suits. Stinger suits and dive skins fall into the same basic category. Both types of swimsuits refer to the same category of full body swimsuit traditionally made from swimwear material similar to lycra. These suits are commonly used for above water sports activities such as swimming, surfing, sailing, and underwater activities such as snorkeling and shallow diving. They can also be used in heated pools or hot weather conditions due to their thin material layers. They provide little thermal function and do not seal the skin from getting wet. However, they do protect the skin from the sun's UVA and UVB radiation, jellyfish stings, sea lice, abrasion, and sunburn. New generation stinger suits and dive skins are made from high quality chlorine resistant and shape retention fabric composed of polyester and PBT yarn. They provide jellyfish protection and UPF 50 plus UV cover. Some divers wear this type of stinger suit or dive skin under a wetsuit or dive suit in order to allow easier donning. They also provide additional comfort and skin relief for those who experience skin allergy from neoprene or rubber material. Type 2 suits. Wetsuits, dive suits, and dry suits all fall into the other basic suit type. These type of suits are made from neoprene and or rubber materials which provide thermal protection. They can be used in colder water temperatures between 28 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit depending on the thickness of the suit and insulation provided. They can be challenging to use especially where flexibility and comfort are needed. Some lightweight wetsuits are made from thin neoprene which can provide some freedom of movement to a certain extent and it does not provide thermal protection or prevent the skin from getting wet. In general, a lightweight wetsuit provides basic warmth and skin protection and is suitable for light diving activities. Dive suits and dry suits provide better insulation and waterproof than a wetsuit, especially suits made of rubber material, which can also seal the skin from getting wet. These dive suits are not easy to take on or off, which is why experienced divers wear a stinger suit or dive skin under a dive suit or dry suit. Your needs. Full body swimsuits, stinger suits, and dive skins have a thin and lightweight fabric. They are perfect for use in snorkeling, shallow diving, surfing, and underwater swimming. Also for jet skiing, sailing, surfing, paragliding, scuba diving, competition, and casual swimming. Their fabric is similar to traditional swimwear material in touch and feel, yet much more superior and durable. They provide UPF 50 plus sun protection, blocking more than 97.5% of the sun's UVA and UVB radiation. They protect against box jellyfish stingers and sea lice. They retain elasticity in colors longer than all other swimwear fabric, and they fit like a second skin for maximum comfort and functionality. Some include a built-in hood, lining, or flat lock stitching, which enhances the suit protection and compression ability. However, if extra warmth or deep water diving is required, then we recommend a neoprene or rubber wetsuit, which can help preserve body heat while swimming in cold waters. So there you have it, a quick look into the differences between various swimsuits. If you're interested in a reliable and durable full body swimsuit, stinger suit, or dive skin for women, men, girls, and boys, then you're in the right place. Head to our site for 20% off your purchase today by using coupon WHAT20 before completing your checkout. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.